There is no question that Waterside is the hottest place to be in Lakewood Ranch. Stick around, I'm gonna show you why. Good morning, we are in Sarasota County this morning. Waterside in Lakewood Ranch. My name is Adam Miller with the 941 Lifestyle Group. I'm a real estate agent, I'm a lifestyle matchmaker. So glad you found the channel. Stick around, I think you're gonna like this video. So there are a lot of things to love about Waterside. I'm gonna give you just a few of the things that I think make it special, but here's what I think really, really, really makes it special is that Waterside has something for everybody. If you're a family with little kids, you're gonna love Waterside. Who knows, if you're single, you might be hanging out at the brewery. If you're single, you just might be hanging out in the semi-secret bar that Agave Bandito has upstairs. Shh, don't tell anybody. And if you're single, you might be having some craft cocktails or some Korean barbecue at Gore. Been there a lot of times. It's amazing. I'm not single though. Or if you're a baby boomer or Gen Xer like me, maybe you just want to kick back and relax. Without a doubt, one of the coolest features of Waterside Place is a water taxi that makes getting around super fun. Now, right now it's for Waterside residents only and it does have limited areas that it goes to. I'm sure that will open up as more people move into the area, but it's a sweet way to get around. I will put a link in the description down below to the website because I believe right now it's Emerald Landing, Lake House Cove, uh, and Shoreview on the days uh, that there's a farmer's market, which is Sunday. And speaking of farmer's market, Waterside has some phenomenal events. You saw the stage behind me, there's live music, but there is also Ranch Night Wednesdays where they close down the street. There are food trucks and local vendors. There is also the Sunday farmer's market, which is really fantastic. It's every Sunday, uh, I think 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I think that's correct. I'll put the link in the description down below too, but just a great place to support your local community vegetables, fruits, local vendors, great food as well too, a lot of fun. Now I know right now Ranch Night Wednesdays is closed for the summertime just because in the afternoon there's lots of inclement weather, but I think that is uh, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. And one of the cool things about Ranch Night Wednesdays is they have one of the largest cornhole tournaments in the entire country. I'll put a link in the description down below. I've done some videos there as well. So while I was putting together my notes for this video, I saw something, I knew it was legit, I just never knew there was an official name for it, but it's called the Beverages in the Street, the B-I-T-S program. Now, I'll put a link in the description because I'm not sure of the full details, but basically what that says is that while there are events going on, you can walk around with the cocktail. Now, I'm not sure if that is just every day or if it's just when there are events, but the great thing about that is there are a ton of different restaurants, which I'm gonna show you. You can just go in there and grab a cocktail and a to-go cup and then walk around and go support the local vendors. Pretty cool, right? And if you like seafood, you definitely wanna come check out Deep Lagoon Seafood. They have oysters, seafood, great brunch. 
They're located right on the lake and the views are just beautiful. Hey, do me a big favor too. Drop a comment down below. Let us know where you are watching from. Are you here in Lakewood Ranch? Do you live in Florida? Maybe you live in the Midwest. Maybe you live in the Northeast. Maybe you live in California. A lot of people from California moving to Florida. And you have Agave Bandito if you want some Mexican food. We've been there before. Food was excellent. Again, they are on the lake too, directly across the street. I showed you this already. That is Kore Korean Barbecue. One of my favorite restaurants here in Waterside, for sure. If you want a good cup of coffee, you have ONA Coffee and Supply. And not only does Good Liquid Brewing Company have good beers, but they have pretty good food as well. And although this is not open yet, it's coming soon. Who is not excited for duck donuts? Come on. Another fantastic restaurant, Osteria 500. We've been there a few times. Excellent, authentic Italian food. And not to be confused with the brewery, there is the Good Liquid Distillery where they make their own liquor. Agave, rum, gin, bourbon. We bought a few bottles. I think we have the gin and the bourbon. And then across the way, if you like breakfast, you definitely have to check out Forked. Their food is just excellent. Service was terrific. It is across the street. That's the lake. That's the main strip, Lakefront Drive. Breakfast, lunch, cocktails. Now, I would not be doing my job as a real estate agent if I didn't spend a little time talking about the amazing options when it comes to real estate in Waterside. Okay, so at the time of this recording, there are about a dozen neighborhoods in Waterside. I am obviously not gonna go through all of those in this video. I can spend an entire hour. I will put links in the description down below to our Lakewood Ranch page on our website, as well as to homes that are currently for sale in any of those neighborhoods. So if you've watched my channel before, you know I've said dozens of times, one of the best things when it comes to real estate in Lakewood Ranch are the options. Options are good. You can find brand new construction here in Waterside in the $400,000 range. Some of those are townhomes, but some of those are single family homes. You can also buy a home starting at about $4 million and everything in between. Okay, so of the dozen or so neighborhoods in Waterside, there are definitely four that I think you should be aware of. The first and foremost, one of my personal favorite ones, and that is King Fisher Estates. Here's what I love about it. First of all, it's John Cannon Homes, and they do an amazing job. Custom builder, luxury homes. There are only 13 lots in King Fisher Estates. I was over there a couple of weeks ago. There is actually one home that is currently under construction. Lots range, I think, from three quarters of an acre to an acre. They start at a million dollars. Single family homes start at $3 million, and they range anywhere from 3,600 square feet to over 8,000 square feet. They're situated right on Kingfisher Lake, and the views are just epic. I'll put a link in the description down below. I've done a few videos there. Okay, next up is another really cool neighborhood. Here's what I love about this one. This is the Alcove. Again, luxury homes ranging anywhere from $800,000 to well over a million dollars. Here's what I like about it. I wanna say no frills, but there are no amenities, but the homes are absolutely gorgeous. So the homes range anywhere from about 2,400 square feet to well over 3,300 square feet. They're built by Neal Signature Homes, which is the luxury division of Neal Homes. And these homes are situated on Blue Heron Lake. Again, no frills, no amenities. There is, a, I think, a, um, like a kayak launch that you can get on, but if you're somebody who doesn't really want to have to pay for the pool and the pickleball, this might be a great neighborhood for you. And I've done video at the one model home in the alcove. I'll put that in the description down below. And it's just a gorgeous home. I love it. Personally, I love it. All right, next up is Shellstone. Shellstone is a new neighborhood. It is on Lorraine Road, very close to Fruitville Road, which means that it's one of the closest neighborhoods to downtown Sarasota. By the way, that reminds me, we do have a second YouTube channel, the one you're currently watching, 941 Lifestyle Group. But we have a second one, which is all about home tours. That is 941 Premier Home Tours. I'll put a link in the description down below if you're somebody who likes to see homes in and around the area, not just Lakewood Ranch, all over Sarasota, Manatee County. Uh, be sure you check out that channel. And if that's something you like, subscribe. Give me a comment too. Let me know you like that type of material. Okay, so here's what I can tell you about Shellstone. Just opened up. Um, you can find homes from the $600,000 range to well over $2 million. They range from just a little over 2,000 square feet to well over 3,700 square feet there are going to be 682 homes in this community. 
Uh, there's gonna be a social hall, a fitness center, a resort style swimming pool. There's gonna be a lifestyle director on premise. There's a dog park, there's a fire pit. There are cabanas, barbecue grills. There's gonna be an event lawn. And of course there are pickleball courts and tennis courts. And the interesting thing about this community is that they're going to share the Midway Sports Complex with Wild Blue, which is just located just to the north of Shellstone. And another thing I love about Shellstone is the two builders that are in there are very well known, luxury builders. They do a phenomenal job. They have a great reputation and that is Homes by Town and Lee Weatherington. And finally, the fourth neighborhood that you definitely should be aware of in Waterside and that is Wild Blue. It is just the epicenter of luxury building here in Waterside and Lakewood Ranch. And here's what I love about this neighborhood. It really has kind of the best of the best of the best home builders in the area. We're talking about Lee Weatherington, John Cannon Homes, AR Homes by Arthur Ruttenberg, Anchor Builders, Stock Luxury Homes, and Stock Custom Homes. Single family homes range from over 2,300 square feet to well over 4,000 square feet. And then they have some estate homes and those are starting at about 4,500 square feet. And of course it would not be Waterside and Lakewood Ranch without amazing amenities. There are six tennis courts, eight pickleball courts. There's a children's playground. There's a sports court with a pro shop. There's a wetland overlook with boardwalks. There's an outdoor fitness equipment. Your furry friends have not one, but two dog parks. There is an event lawn. There's a basketball court. There is a boat dock with a kayak launch. Love that. There are picnic areas with grilling stations. Single family homes range from around a million dollars to well over $3 million. There are about 505 homes in Wild Blue. If you want to see more videos like this, do me a favor, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, do me a favor too, drop a comment down below. It does wonders for the algorithm. If you have any questions at all about any of the homes for sale in here, do me a favor. My contact information is down below. Make sure you stick around. You watch that video. I think we'd like that one as well too. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.